Hey fellas, it's Rich here. And today let's talk about decision making in your marriage. You ever find yourself just saying, whatever, whatever you want, whatever restaurant you like, whatever you want to do, I'm there with you. Well, I get it. Sometimes it's easier to let her take the wheel. You might think you're being a good accommodating partner, but trust me, you're draining your mojo tank. That's right, draining it dry. Now, why do we do it? Maybe it's to avoid conflict, or maybe you think you're doing her a favor, but here's the reality. Your wife hates it after a while. Imagine being the only one to make decisions all the time. It's exhausting, right? Plus, it puts an unfair load on her shoulders. She wants a partner who can take the lead sometimes, especially in areas where you've got the know-how. Say you're great at finances, or you're an outdoor enthusiast. Take the helm in those areas, she'll appreciate it. And guess what? It's a mojo boast for you too. It builds you up, it's what you're best at. So guys, don't shy away from making decisions. It not, it's not just good for your marriage, it's good for you. If you wanna step up and bring back balanced decision making into your relationship, click the link below or head to bit.ly forward slash men's marriage. That's men's marriage with a capital M because we're manly men. bit.ly forward slash men's marriage. We've got your roadmap right there. And join us for the Recover Your Mojo Challenge this September 6th, 7th, and 8th. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.